Hello friends, welcome to my channel. We are dealing with the topic whole numbers. My today's topic is distributive property for whole numbers. Today's activity is paper cutting and pasting activity. If you are new on my channel, please subscribe my channel. It means a lot to me. So the let us start with the activity. So material required is colorful sheets, glue, scissors, eight strip consists of six boxes. So six boxes, what does it mean? Six inches strip you can take. My example, I have taken six multiplied by 848. For that, I require eight strips of six boxes. So let us start with the activity. Here I have uh, kept all the eight strips 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and how many boxes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Here I have taken two different color sheets so that easily we can identify and it will look colorful. So total number of boxes are here instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on we can count there are 8 boxes and here are 6 boxes so total number of boxes will be 48 these are known as column first column second column third column and these are known as rows first row second row third row fourth row fifth row and sixth row many times students are having confusion between row and column so total six rows eight columns so total number of boxes are 48 i have created activity based uh, topics so take your one minute time to read out all the topics for the activity based teaching and links are given in the description Few I will read for you addition and subtract addition subtraction multiplication and division of whole numbers on number line addition subtraction multiplication of integers on number line activity for ascending order activity for comparison of numerals activity for algebraic identities so three basic identities are there so activity for all the three basic identities and then visualizing exponents by paper folding activity activity and game for joyful learning of exponents and powers activity paper cutting and pasting activity for transposition method paper cutting and pasting activity for balancing method activity for trial and error method remaining ones you can read by your own give your some time to read out this again links are given in the description you can go and find out now continue with our activity the second step what i have done i have separated these three strips and five strips separately so now here for these three boxes we have six rows rows are common six rows and here are the three columns one two and three columns so six rows into three columns six threes are 18 so total number of boxes in this set is 18 come for this set six rows are common but the columns are one two three four five so six rows into five columns so total number of boxes in this set is 30 so 30 plus 18 will give you 48 and initially we have started with six rows eight column that is total number of boxes is 48 so how can we write down six into eight is equal to six into three this six into three i have taken with this pink color box 6 into 5 again with this pink color box now your 6 is common so take 6 common what is left inside the bracket 3 plus 5 3 plus 5 so this is distributive property take another example this time I have separated 2 box and 2 columns and 6 columns separately so for this figure, this set, I have six rows and two columns. So that is total number of boxes are 12. 
Now here I have six rows and six columns. One, two, three, four, five, six, six columns. So six rows into six columns will give you 36. 12 plus 36 will give you 48. So initially we have started with six rows and eight columns. So that is 48. So here also I have shown that 6 multiplied by 8, this is the first thing we have started and now here 6 multiplied by 2, this pink color box, 6 multiplied by 6, another pink color box, again you can see that your 6 is common, so take 6 common, what is left inside the bracket, 2 plus 6, 2 plus 6, this will give you 8. So again this is distributive property, two examples I have given for distributive property. Here if you are not comfortable with the strips you can draw the rectangles by your own and you can use color pencils to shade with the different colors. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe my channel and also to watch my next video.